This is Eden from the Road to Retirement channel. Welcome to this channel where we talk about how to have funds to have fun in freedom. In our last episode, we talked about mini retirements, what it is, why it's a good option, and how to plan for it, pre and post mini retirement. Just to give you a recap, here is what we said about the mini retirement. A mini retirement is a few months to a year break from your work while you pursue a separate endeavor, passion project, an extended travel, volunteer work, or simply crossing things off your bucket list. You can even work on a passive income. A mini retirement is not taking a two-week vacation to recharge, or is it for people who are just tired of working, period? So why do a mini retirement? First, you'll get a taste of retirement without waiting too long. The money you need to prepare for a mini retirement is less. Having a mini retirement allows you to pursue passion projects or sample the road not taken. While all of that is true, it paints a very rosy picture on that lifestyle, as that was my experience and that of many others. Some of you messaged me to know more like the disadvantages. So now, let me give you the other side of things. The very real possible downside of mini retirements. Why you should not do a mini retirement. It will delay your path to fire or financial independence retire early path. Here, instead of going straight for the goal, or fire, saving some money that will fuel your mini retirement in two to five years time will delay your full fire. People aiming for fire save as much as 50 to 70% of their income. So setting aside money for something else will delay them on the path to fire. Number two, depending on your skill level, specialty, and field of work, getting off the career track for some might mean a pay cut when you rejoin the workforce, a longer than planned time off work, especially if the job market is down or just being sidelined in the office when you're getting back to your old job. One other bleak scenario is your job might not even be there anymore when you get back. With the mergers, acquisitions, and the volatile economic situation of today, there is always that risk. But if you are that confident of your skill, specialty, and talent, willing to work like you were in your 20s, all this could go the other way around too, and you can get a nice upgrade when you get back to work, especially with a robust job market. If work is where you meet people and friends, get challenges, satisfaction, recognition, get structure around your world, and get your identity, having a mini retirement or time off work might leave you feeling lost, useless, and insecure. Contrary to what most people think, we simply do not work for money alone. And a lot of the things I mentioned a while ago, we can get from work. You might run out of money or severely deplete your emergency fund or retirement savings. Or worse, you might run into debt. That is very possible. Even the best intention plans can go awry. Just as things, if planned well, can still go wrong, what more if you don't plan and assess enough if a mini retirement is something that you want and you can afford to risk it. At the end of the day, life is for living and success comes to those who are wise enough to plan and bold enough to execute. So seeing both sides of the coin, would you want to do a mini retirement or not? Is it something for you? Let me know in the comments section below and drop a like before you go. Thank you!
Bye.